The OECD Secretary General Angel Gurria presented his organization's report on the French economy, a voluntarist and optimistic statement, while the document points out the French structural weaknesses. The OECD believes in the changes and chances that are affecting France. In its report, the Organizations for Economic Cooperation and Development welcomes the progression of the French economic activity and the will to reform the legislation on work and then pensions. We know that in a capitalist economy there's going to be downturns. Uh, and so the judge of any policy is how long and how deep the downturns last because they're so inevitable. We are talking about uh, you know, France nearing a lost decade, and many, many economists believe it's going to be a lost score, a lost 20 years, just like they did uh, in Japan. And that's very logical because they are implementing the same neoliberal capitalist reforms as they did in Japan, they are, they are uh, doing here. Uh, and Macron's labor code reforms is part of this neoliberal approach. And what is it going to do? Well, it's, going, it's, it's basically following the American model, which is to make more part-time work, to give workers less rights, to give them less uh, stability, less security. And here's the problem with that. Uh, the real economy is based on uh, uh, you know, consumer demand, especially France. France's economy is very, very strongly built on consumer demand. But if workers feel that you know, they don't have job security, that they don't have long-term uh, employment, that they don't have good wages, that they could lose their job at, at any moment, they're not going to buy things like uh, houses, cars, washing machines, all of these big purchases that really keep the economy going. High-level unemployment was among the major topics discussed in the report. In France, many young people are excluded from the labor market, where the record level of public expenditure, the highest in the OECD, as well as the risk of increased indebtedness, remain serious obstacles to increase growth potential in the country. In 2017, while taking advantage of favorable international conditions, the French economy is expected to grow by 1.7% for the OECD under under-change economic conditions. The institution predicts a GDP growth of at least 1.6% in 2017 and 2018. 1.7% GDP growth would be considered an abject failure. Uh, I think a, a very you know, key thing to keep in mind about France is that they have record high unemployment. Uh, economists say that uh, you don't even start to create jobs until you reach 1.5 percent. So in this context, uh, 1.7 percent growth is not going to solve it's not going to solve the unemployment problems of millions of workers and the families that rely on them. So 1.7 percent should really be considered very very bad news. However, uh, you know uh, you know facts uh, and st and statistics always re require context. So uh, you know. We are in the midst of a great, great, uh, a, a great recession, perhaps a lost decade, and 1.7 percent is much better than what it used to be, which was uh, 0.1 percent. A prognosis in line with the government's forecast, 1.6 this year and 1.7 percent the next year, this would be the biggest increase since 2011, even if it remains below the euro area average. The labor market is recovering as its household consumption and private investment. This improvement, which owes much to the favorable winds blowing on the European Union, nevertheless only tells part of this story. This is Farah Al-Hashim reporting for KTV2 News, Paris.